here's the theme video that I promised you guys. Now, to start off, I'm going to go into this really quick, so keep up. What you're going to do is go into Cydia Install Winterboard. Winterboard is, as shown on my iPod right now on the screen, a program that lets you use themes on your iPod. Now, you're going to also have to download iFunbox, which is in the description below. And if it doesn't work for you, it's because you didn't download AFC to add. That lets you use iFunbox. So, to use this, you have to plug in your device. So, take your iPod and, well, plug it in. Oh. Now, ignore everything iTunes tells you to do, like syncing and all that. So, now that it's plugged in, I'm just going to go to my home screen. There we are telling me to do so. <coughs> Ignore all that and let it sink, it doesn't matter. Now open up iFunbox. Now when you open this, you're going to just, this is how you're going to inject themes. This is how you put themes into your iPod from your computer. Now you're going to have all these things come down and your iPod is just going to be doing whatever. Now you're going to go to raw system file right here. And you're going to go to var then you're going to go to stash, and then you're going to get themes right here. So your themes are going to be right here. Let me make this a little bit smaller. All right, so you're going to have themes right here. And this is all the themes that I have on my iPod currently. This is the theme that I have right now. I called it Pfeiffer Impressions HD Current. Now that's just the name of this. That's just the name of my file I named it. I also have a theme that I made for Ivana and all these other things that I use on my iPod. Now I'll show you in Winterboard when you open it all the themes show up there so here's all the themes I currently have my HD impressions on and this other theme that's for this little drop down thing that comes up for my music player that that's the theme for that so I'm gonna go into creating a theme now creating a theme is very simple and all it is is basically making a folder now making a folder sounds pretty easy to you yes now what I'm going to do is show you my iPod themes that I've downloaded or created. Now what I normally do is I download an already downloaded, like an already complete theme, I take it apart and make it my own. Now these are all old themes. Now I'm going to use wherever it is. It's Pfeiffer, I know it is. Here it is. Now, what you're going to want to do, I'm going to create a new theme with you guys, so I'm going to open up another document. Now, to create a new theme, all you're going to have to do is just, let's just do it on the desktop. You're going to right-click, new folder. So, I'm going to name it YouTube Theme. Yeah, YouTube Theme. And that's my iPod. All right, I'll stop it. I'm just going to leave that there. YouTube theme or YouTube them. We're going to keep it like that. So we're going to open this up and now we're going to have nothing in here. So if you go to my theme, here's how a theme is built up. There's a wallpaper, which is the background wallpaper right here. There's a widget that I have. You do not need a widget. A widget is just all this little stuff here and there's custom widgets you can download. There's icons, which are, well, all the icons and special icons that are there. All these icons are in there. There's bundles, UI images, which is the UI, um, like how this looks, how it's gray up here and the switches are gray and all that. That's the UI. And then there's sounds. Now, you might have heard when I plugged it in and made that little whoing, ting, ting, ting sound. That's because it was a sound. Now, what you're going to want to do first in this video is select the wallpaper. What do you want as the background of your device? I like this grayish color, so if you have Photoshop or GIMP or even Microsoft Paint, you can create it. Now what I'm going to do is show you my wallpaper and show you examples of what you can do. Now a wallpaper is very simple to make. An overlay is something else. I'll get into that later. Let's just let Photoshop load. And now that Photoshop loaded, I can take my wallpaper and drag it in. Now, I'm going to tell you the dimensions, because the dimensions matter, because if you're on a 4, if you're on the iPod 4, which has a retina display, you're going to have different 
kinds of dimensions. Now, this right here, I believe, is 320 by 480. So, let's just create a new 320 by 480. So, let's see. 320, 480. Now, remember to put that in pixels, or you'll get really, really crazy. 320, 480, open. So now that we have this, which is basically the same as this, this is this is the wallpaper. Now whatever you have here will be the background of your iPod, basically forever, and you can never change it. So make it something nice. Now let's say I'm going to create something that's, huh, my status. Now let's say I'm going to look up, let's say you want a Zelda thing. Let's go to Zelda. Link. Let's look at Zelda Link. And let's say you want fucking this. Not that, that's pretty gay. Let's say you want, let's get something cool. Let's get something that's real cool. Uh, let's scroll down. Now let's look if there's something. You want your background to be something that doesn't make your images look all stupid. So you want it to be something. So let's look for Zelda wallpaper. Like, hmm. Let's make this an example. I want this as my background. So we're going to save this to the desktop. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're just going to drag this into Photoshop. Right there. So now that we have this image. Of Link and his horse. Now we're gonna drag it into here. Now, as you see, this is not a good background because, well, it's kind of distorted and there's this white space. This white space will end up being black. So you're gonna go Control T, drag up, and basically take the picture and scale it to whatever you really want it to look like. Let's see, I wanna make it look more epic. Let's make it where it's like him and his horse at the edge of the world. Alright, now that's going to be our wallpaper. I'm going to use that as the wallpaper for our YouTube theme. Now, let's save it. Let's save it. And you have to save it as certain things. So save as. Let's save it in YouTube theme in your theme folder. Now you have to save it as PNG. So name it wallpaper. Just that. Just wallpaper. Okay. And you're done. Now if we look in here, ta-da, we have a wallpaper. Let's change the view. Ta-da, there's our wallpaper. Now, right here, you have to name it wallpaper. Wallpaper. So there you go. You created your wallpaper. Now, I'm just going to set this up. You wanna, you're going you're gonna to create new folders, and each of them are going to be different names. You're going to create one that's called bundles. Just like that. New. You're going to name one icons, new, and you're going to create one called UII images. And then you're going to create, now sounds is something you might not want to create because it's kind of complicated to do, but I'll show you guys how to do it anyway. UI sounds. All right, now that you have UI sounds, you're good to go. You have all the setup for your folder. This is going to be your theme right here. Now, let's say I'm done with my theme and I want to implant it and I want to see how it looks right now. So, you're going to go to your here. You're going to have your themes open. You're going to have your iPod on. And it's plugged in still. You're going to take your YouTube theme wherever it's at. Now, ours is on the desktop. So, YouTube theme. You just take it and you drag it right into there. And now, YouTube theme is right there. So, if I go here click on winterboard, click on select theme, and hit YouTube theme, it's right there. I uncheck my theme. And now I'm going to respring, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I have to reconnect it, but I'm going to show you what it looks like now. Just let it respring. Just got a drink of my vitamin water. <laughs> oh, my little folder's got screwed up. Put this back in there. There we go. 
All right, now I'm going to open up VNC Viewer Connect, accept, and let's scale this down. 50. And there you go. That's the wallpaper that we chose. And that's the wallpaper that's going to be there. So you see that there's still a dock right here. And there's still all this stuff up here because all you have on this theme is your background. Now, I'm going to stop the video right here for I can do sub videos on how to do certain things with it and how to progress the theme. I don't want to shove it all into one video for you guys to get really confused. So this is just setting up your theme. You already have a wallpaper. You already have Photoshop, GIMP, something. You already know the dimensions and you know the bundles, icons, images, UI sounds. You know all of that. And now you know how to inject a theme into your iPod. So let's say, let's take another example. Let's say um, I'm going to put my theme in the description with a link to it for you can download it yourself. Uh, please don't steal my theme. I will hunt you down and kill you. Now let's open up this. Now this is my theme right here. So you take this, oh, you do the same thing. You take it, drag it, and you drop it in. And when you drop it in, you open up Winterboard, slide, Winterboard, select themes, you select it, bam, right there, unselect the other, you're good, right there. So I'm going to keep YouTube on right now, and I'm going to respring. So I'm going to end the video right here now. So what I taught you in this video is how to SSH, which is opening up your iPod and dropping themes into it how to create a wallpaper for your theme, and how to set up the folders through the names. So that's all for this video, and I'll make one shortly right after this. I just don't want to cram it all into one video. So that was the video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll try to help you the most. Um, there's also a link to my Facebook down there, my fan page. If you need help on anything, I'll check it. If you want me to help you out, I'll check it. And um, later on, I might be taking requests for custom themes, but I'm pretty lazy, so I don't know if I might do that or not. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you have questions, type them in the comments below. And if you like this video, click the like button. Um, subscribe if you want to keep updated with me, too. So that's it for that video, and goodbye.